Last year, we visited Rome, Florence, Venice, and Madrid, and I put together this book of highlights from the trip. It starts in Rome with a monument to the reunification of Italy shot in the reflection of the water beneath these iconic stone pines. About a mile down the road is the Roman Forum. This is the view from the Palatine Hill. Walking through the city, it is exciting to happen upon things you didn't expect. In this case, a portrait of San Sebastian. And on the right, this moment of a nun making her way to mass in the church of Santa Cecilia. It's an ancient city, but it is full of vibrancy and life. The Vatican was nearly empty while we were there. We spent time in the map room, and I loved seeing how people in the 15th century saw themselves in relationship to the rest of the world. Here's a contrast between a remodeled courtyard outside the Apple Store in Rome and the Piazza Novono, the statue of Neptune and a woman having a cigarette, enjoying the day. A couple of scenes from our hotel near the Via Borghese. From Rome, we made our way to Florence and the incredible views of the Tuscan countryside. This is the Duomo the Church of Santa Maria del Fiore in the center of Florence, and a view down the Arno from the Ponte Vecchio. Art and craft are still alive in Florence, and this is a working sculpture and portrait studio that we happened upon, and here is the exterior of the cathedral. Fabio Figus is one of those artisans who's still at work in the city. I spent an extraordinary afternoon with Fabio, learning about his craft. He's a knife maker, and his process takes him from refining the materials to make the steel to the crafting of the final product, the knife itself. From Florence, we made our way by train to Venice, and we were struck by the surreal nature of these scenes where the city seems to be rising right out of the sea. Adding to that sense of surrealness was the architecture biennale with exhibitions from around the world. I love this photograph of a woman explaining to me what she had put into our spritz. Some parting shots from Venice. Our last stop was Madrid, and here is Retiro Park on an extraordinary autumn afternoon. Everybody is out walking, and we joined in that great walk with friends one afternoon through the streets of Madrid, and it gave us a new perspective on life in that city. And here is a summary page of images and lastly, a rosette carved into the ruins of the Roman Forum to finish the story.